everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm gonna share with you enchiladas recipe because few weeks back, I posted one of the vlog and in that vlog, I just show you guys I was making the enchilada for kids. And after that, I had so many requests saying, can you show us how you make it? So in this video, I'm also gonna share with you beans recipe as well as the Mexican rice recipe with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. To make the enchiladas, first we're gonna go ahead and prepare the beans. For that, I took about two tablespoons of oil. Into that, I'm gonna add about half a cup chopped onions and I'm gonna cook this until it's golden brown. Next, I will go ahead and add one tablespoon of chipotle peppers. Now, if you cannot find it, that's fine. But if you add this, it's gonna enhance the flavor and your beans will taste so yummy. So now I'm gonna let this cook just for a minute or so, make sure all the flavors and everything is well combined. Next I will go ahead and add the taco seasoning. Now I'm using the Taco Bell seasoning here, but if you can find any other seasoning, that's fine. So here I'm gonna add about two tablespoons, mix everything, and next I will add the pinto beans. Now. I'm using the canned one, but if you have the regular beans, you can soak it at night, pressure cook it in the morning and just add that. So now our beans is all ready. Next, I will go ahead and prepare the black beans. Now, if you don't wanna use the black beans as well as the pinto beans, that's fine. But here I took about two tablespoons of oil into that. I'm just adding the beans. Again, I'm using the canned one and i'm just gonna let this saute just for a few minutes and then I'll again add the taco seasoning into it mix everything well and that's it our second beans is all done next i will prepare the mexican rice for that i took about two tablespoons of oil into the pan once it's hot i will add half a cup chopped onions once the onion is golden brown, I will add half a cup chopped tomatoes. Some people do like the green peas or the corn into this. I'm not adding it, but if you like it, go for it. Once both of this mixture cook for a few minutes, I will add the chipotle pepper. Again, if you don't have it, that's fine. But if you add that, it will enhance the flavor. It will taste so good and you will not miss the Mexican restaurant style food. So if you have the Taco Bell rice before, you know what I'm talking about. And if you make this way, you will love it so much. And probably you might don't feel like going to any restaurant and eat the Mexican food because then you can make all this restaurant style food at home at your convenience. So please do try this recipe. It comes out so perfect every time I make it. And next I will add this taco seasoning. Again, I use the Taco Bell brand but you can use any of the brand that you have after mixing it very well i will just go ahead and add the cooked rice into this and that's it our mexican rice it's all done and here i'm making picardi gallo basically that is the fresh salsa for that, I took about half a cup chopped tomatoes as well as onion and next I will add the cilantro into this. More cilantro in this, it's much better. And next, to make it spicy, I will add the pepper. And here I'm using the Thai pepper, so it's up to you how spicy you want it. Next, I will add the lime juice into it. So you can use lime or lemon juice, salt to taste, and that's it. Our pica di gallo, it's all done. So all our ingredients is almost done. We just gonna go ahead and warm this enchilada sauce. Again, you can use any of the brand, but I just like this old El Paso brand, so I'm using that. And all we are doing here is just warming up. And now it's time to assemble our enchiladas and for that I'm using this Mission brand one because they are really soft. So first of all we're gonna add the pinto beans into this. Next we will add the black beans. Again if you don't like black beans you don't have to add that. I just like the combination of both that's why I'm using that. 
After adding both of them, I'm gonna add the chopped onions, tomatoes. As you can see, I do have some green onions there as well as the lettuce, rice. So we're gonna just assemble everything. You can add the sour cream into this, cheese onto this. So it doesn't have to be any particular order. You can just add all the ingredients into this. We're gonna roll it and then put it in the oven for about 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes because at that point we just want to make sure that the cheese on top it's melted so here I'm adding a little bit of the salsa and this one is the spicy one it's so good and here I'm using this taco cheese which I got it from the supermarket and nowadays even at any supermarket that you go to they have either mexican cheese or the taco cheese because it's combination of the few cheese that it's already in there so that's all i'm doing here i'm just making sure that it doesn't come out i roll it and now i'm gonna go ahead and prepare the second one for the first one i did not add the rice in the second one i'm adding the rice and now it's time to assemble everything and put it in the oven so for that in the oven safe dish i took this enchilada sauce pour it on the bottom so that way the enchilada doesn't stick to the bottom so we don't need much just a little bit making sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom and then i will transfer carefully those enchilada into the plate again pour more sauce on top and just go crazy with the cheese because who doesn't like cheese right so just add more cheese into it we're gonna cover this with the aluminum foil and then put it in the oven for about 10 15 minutes you not too much you can just go and pick and make sure the cheese is melted you don't want to put it just like that we want to make sure it's covered so that way the cheese doesn't get burned And here I do have this other one, it's a Mexican blend, so that's what I'm just going to go ahead and put it on top. And uh, that's it, our enchilada is all done. And it tastes so good. I make this at least once a week because even for the kids, you know, when they come home from school, it's so filling. You can just make it cheese enchilada also, so instead of putting beans and all the stuff in there, you can just make it simply with the cheese and kids love that. And this is it friends, our enchilada is all done. I'm serving with the chips and the queso. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you like this video. If you do, please do not forget to subscribe. As well as leave the comments below and let me know what are other recipes which you like to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.